VStack and HStack, these two new functions here in Excel can help us out to just pile, to stack, to group together many data sets into just one. So let's take a look here in this first example on how can we use the VStack and the HStack here in Excel. And then we're going to see how can we, from a practical example, how can we use VStack or HStack to help us out in our daily basis, for example. So here I have just a simple data set. The first one is here to the left in the screen, and the second one is here. Let's say I want to just group together these two data sets that I have. I can do it in many different ways. So for example, I can just, let's say, select this first data set, Control C, and then here to the right of the screen, I can Control V to copy and paste. And I can do the same thing here. Just select this data set, Control C, and then Control V here down below. So that way I can just group together these two data sets. But let's say I just need to update some values that I have here. I need to update or to insert new rows. If I just change any value here, so let's say this 411, I just delete it. Here in my new data set, the 411 is still here. So it's not automatically updated for me. So this is one reason why Control C and Control V maybe is not a good idea to just group together many data sets that you have. So maybe using VStack or HStack is a better option. Let's take a look here. Let me delete it first. And then I'm going to stick with first with the VStack function. Okay. So here in the cell, people sign VStack, double click it. The V in the VStack stands for vertical. Okay. So we can just group together many data sets in a vertical way. And the H stack, the H stands for the horizontal. So we can just group together many data sets in a horizontal way. Let's start here with the V stack. The first thing that the V stack functions just ask me is my array, my first array. So my first array that I'm going to use here is this data set that I have. So it's my first data set. I can select everyone here and then comma. Now the V stack just asking me what is my second array. I can select here now my second data set. And if I have many more data sets, let's say I can just press comma again. I can keep in adding many arrays, many data sets, just in between one data set to another. I just need to insert a comma, okay? Close parentheses, and then I'm gonna press enter. That way I can just group together these two data sets that I have just into one that is here. And because we just use the V stack, it's just grouped together in a vertical way. And as I said before, if uh, let's say I change here this value 411, for example, this value is right here. I can even just uh, paint it in yellow just to make it easier to find. So 411, let's say now I just change this value here. So now it's equal to JP, for example, JP. And then I'm going to press enter and look what's going to happen here with this 411. Enter. It's automatically updated for me. So this is one good reason to use VStack or HStack instead of using Ctrl C, Ctrl V, for example, to group together a data set. Let me just press Ctrl Z to undo one more time. And here, instead of using now the VStack, I can delete it and use the equal sign HStack. Double click it, one, two, and here I'm going to select my first data set. That is this one right here. And then, comma. Now I'm going to select here the second data set that I have. Close parentheses, and then I'm going to press enter. And as you can see, the H stack means horizontal. So it's going to just group together in a horizontal way. It's going to take your first data set, and then it's going to append your second data set, append your 31, append your 41, and so on. Okay. Now let's stick here with the real problems where I have my sales in the January month, February, and March. Or in other words, I can say I have here the first quarter of sales. Okay. The first quarters that I just sold. I want to just group together all this data set that I have here, but I have my sales report from January month. Okay, so each one of the months I have here a report. So I have from January and I also have here for February and then for March. I want to just group together all these data sets. And remember, I can, of course, using Ctrl C, Ctrl V, but it's gonna, it's not gonna work in an automatic way. If I just change any value that I have here, or if I insert a new row, it can be a little difficult to just Ctrl C, Ctrl V all over again. So to make it uh, more automatically as possible, I'm gonna just here insert a new sheet. Just click here in this plus sign, right click, rename, and then it's gonna be, let's say, stack all together or pile, whatever. You can name it but, uh, in any name that you want. Here in this first cell here, I'm going to use, let's say, equal sign. 
I can use the H stack or the V stack, but here I want to use the V stack because I want uh, the first data set and then just below this data set I want to use the second one and then the third one and so on so on, okay? So we're gonna just stack one data set on top of another. So we're gonna use here V stack to pile, to group together in a vertical way. V stack, double click it, okay? Now my first array is gonna be here in my January sales. I can select everyone here, all this data, but look, if I just select it manually, maybe it's gonna take a long time because I have here main rows. So maybe it's a good idea to just click here in the first cell and then I'm gonna press and hold the control key, the shift key, and then the right click. Now it's still with the control key and the shift key pressing and holding together. I'm gonna just press here the down arrow and okay, my first array is selected. That way I can select my entire data set with just my keyboard. Then I'm gonna press comma. Now, as we can see here in my formula bar, I can insert my second array and I can go here to my February sales and then select all the values that I have in my dataset, but I don't need to select the title all over again, or I mean the header all over again. So we're gonna start here with this cell here, the cell A2, okay, the row number two. Control shift to the right, control shift now comma again. And now it's time to just insert here my array number three that is here in my March sales. I select everyone here. And here, yes, of course, I can just select with my mouse itself. So I just wanna click, hold, and drag to the end. Now we're gonna close parentheses and then press enter. That way I done. Here I have now all my data sets just pile one on top of another. So I just pile together, I just stack everyone together. And as you guys can see, maybe the formatting is not uh, as expected. So for example, the date, maybe I can just change something here. For example, uh, I can select everyone here in the first column, column A, and then go to Home tab. And instead of using general as format, I can click here and select this first option here, short date. Okay, that way here I have a data that I can read. And of course I can select all the columns A to H, for example, double click in between one column and another, one, two, that way I make sure all the columns contain the text is in the perfect size, organizing the perfect size. And yeah, we're done, guys. So whenever I just update any value in my data set, in January sales, February, March, for example, so I can just change the values in any data set that I have here, all my stack, all my last spreadsheet that I am using here, all my vStack function is gonna automatically update for me. And of course, if someone just using here the, the sales of January, February, March, all these three spreadsheet, and let's say here in the March, someone just uh, insert here new rows. I can just go to my vStack function that is here, double click it, and, or I can just check here for the formula bar. I can see here my range for the January sales, my range for the February sales, and then my range for the March sales. Let's say someone just add some rows in the March sales. So instead of using QDG17, for example, I can change it and use QDG20, for example. So it's pretty much easy to just update your data set and to update your function here Excel. So it's much easier, in my opinion, than using Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V. So I hope you guys, this video can help you out in your databases. I really hope this video can help you out. If you have any questions, just comment down below because I can help you out. And I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.